My mom's famous roti pizza, cheese on bread. What a brilliant invention. Priya Krishna, author of Indianish here, and I'm gonna show you how food can take us right back home. So I grew up in Dallas, Texas, but I live here in New York, and I sadly haven't been able to see my parents over the last year or so. But one of the great things about food is that it can remind us of being home. And so today I wanna to make a dish that immediately transports me back to my mom's kitchen, hanging out, catching up, and eating. I am going to make my mom's famous roti pizza with a cilantro chutney, cheddar, and onion topping. We have our roti. I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil. And this is just gonna create like a nice little golden brown base for the rest of our topping. Now that these are nicely coated, we're gonna stick these in the oven for five minutes. Chutney is one of the easiest things you can make. It adds immediate zing to any kind of food from scrambled eggs to rice. And I'm gonna teach you how to make my mom's really simple chutney. So I've got this nice washed bunch of cilantro chutney and I'm just gonna give this a rough chop. Make sure to include the stems. People make a mistake of throwing away the stems, but the stems are actually full flavor. And my mom tells me, I'm just assuming she's right about this because moms are right about everything, that the stems have water that'll help the chutney blend really nicely. Next, we're gonna roll out our lime. I'm gonna give this a cut and we're just gonna squeeze that lime juice straight in our blender. So now we need a serrano chili. You can use an Indian green chili or a serrano chili like I'm using now. Just any chili that has sort of a bright fruity flavor, but also has a good amount of heat. We want heat in our chutney. Spicy is good. <laughs> we're gonna add salt and then we're gonna add a pinch of sugar. I like to put the teeniest bit of water to get those blades going. The crusts have gotten lightly golden. We just wanna get them like a nice crispy starting point to put our toppings. Really thinly sliced red onion, sprinkle some shredded cheddar. And now we're gonna stick this back in our 400 degree oven for five to seven minutes. We want the cheese to be fully melted and bubbling. Please take a moment to admire the cheesy goodness. All right, so I've cut it. Now I'm gonna drizzle the chutney. So I like to do the little fold over like people do with the New York slice. Mm. You're getting fresh, you're getting salty, you're getting sweet, you're getting crispy. This is how food can take you right back home. Mm. Mm. Yum. 